Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you guys about the Racer Star motors. These are the 2306S 2400KV motors. And we recently put them on the iFlight frame and I've been flying it around now. So they, they, they were so good that I had to make a video just to tell you guys how good they are. They were so good that, you know, they were keeping up with the Emax 2306 2400KV motors. You really can't. I, I, if they were tuned exactly the same, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. They're just that good. Uh, durability, I can't tell you anything. I haven't had hard crashes yet, but I've had tiny crashes. They're still holding up fine. So that's good. Now, performance. The performance is actually spectacular. Uh, they're a little bit less powerful than the 2306 uh, Emax 2400KV but you don't even notice really so if, if I had these two you know my you know if, if I had my frog my favorite frame with the Emax 2306 2400KV and this guy tuned exactly the same with the same rates and everything and um, I didn't know which one had the battery in it and which one I'm looking through um, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one I'm flying it's really that good, you know? I can tell you for sure it's not a 2205 motor when I fly it. It's just $32, you get $100 worth of performance. That's just crazy. But I don't know if you get $100 worth of durability, but even some motors, you only get like, you don't even get $100 worth of dur durability, and they're even $100, so yeah. Uh, some people do complain of weak bearings. Um, I have not yet broke one but i do believe them um you're paying 32 dollars for four so yeah uh but for you know here's here's another example for you uh diatone motors the the 2205 ones um those are 20 dollars and they have absolutely crappy bearings um, I've, I've broken my bearings before on them in, in some crashes uh so that's just to be expected some people complain that these have magnets that slip you know emax is well known for slipping magnets so yeah um so you know just every other motor problem they have however the quality i can say it's not fully there but they're working perfect some do have play you know some do play a little bit um three of my motors have a little play but that's not affecting anything neither my flight neither vibrations neither oscillations nothing they're performing like hundred dollar motors and that's just that's just unbelievable for me. So I really wanted to share this with you guys because if you're low on cash and you really needed some nice motors, I 100% guarantee you to pick some of these up and go fly them because you're just gonna have an absolute amazing time. To be honest, I prefer to fly these now more than the Emax 2205S motors. Really, they're really that good, you know? Um, durability, I still have no idea, but as time goes on, I will crash and I'll let you guys know. However, I know most, some of you have used them. So if you really did have used these, please leave a comment down below and tell us how was your experience. Because I'm curious as well as others are curious. And if you're just watching this video, check the comments below. Hopefully, people will share their experience. So, I'm just so happy I actually put these on this build. They would have just still just stayed in the closet just or, or on the shelf just waiting for me to put them someday. So this is actually a very good frame. I really love it. I take it everywhere with me now because it just performs. So if I break this guy, I fly that guy. But actually I'm flying this guy more than this guy because this guy is more efficient. So that's just crazy, no? I think it's absolutely crazy. Um, so... Yeah, these are very good motors. I really do recommend them. Um, durability, I can't promise you. I can't say anything because I haven't crashed. So I really can't tell you anything. Um, you're just going to have to go look down in the comments and see other people's um, experience with it. Overall performance, beautiful, amazing. Just what you need and more is there. I, I, I would never expect in a million years, $32 motors would perform this freaking good. They outperform the Diatone motors and they outperform the DYS Fire motor. And what else do they outperform? Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. So they're outperforming a lot of motors. And um, just to just to put this into comparison, I've used a lot of motors. So I'm not saying this from using three motors. I've used you know T motor F60, F80, F40, uh, Brother Hobby Returner R4s, Emax 2205 and 2306, Diatone motors, DYS Fire motors. Uh, what else? Uh, the racer star 2205 motors, but I really don't put those on this equation. So I've used a lot of high-end motors, and um, these are just beautiful. Really, $32 is just absolutely crazy. So I'm actually gonna probably I'm just gonna go 
possibly stack up hundred dollars worth of motors and every once in a while just stick them on a build because I know that I'm going to enjoy them so I, I can't keep affording hundred dollar motors for every build and uh, every once in a while I'll stick one of these on there because they're actually they're very good they're really good so if one of my favorite quad breaks and I have I'm low on cash I will not hesitate to put one of these on there because I know it's just going to perform almost exactly the same or even better so that's just that's very good so overall if you're new to this hobby or if you're low on cash or you just want a new motor or want a big fat motor this will outperform your 2205 motor for 32 dollars so if you want to do a little upgrade like a little test go ahead and grab some i promise you i guarantee you you're going to enjoy them and they're just absolutely spectacular i really did enjoy them so I'm very surprised and the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to share this with you guys because I just didn't expect they're going to be this good. So yeah. Um, that's going to conclude it for this video guys. So I really hope I helped someone out there and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and please 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 if, share your experience if you had one with these down below so other people know before buying however my experience was just absolutely spectacular and again i didn't crash any hard crashes i've had little tiny crashes um but those are not considered you know i, I could tell you how durable they are so um the crashes that i've crashed you know better you know nothing should happen really so and nothing did happen so that, that's a good little tiny first sign i guess but um eventually as time goes on i'll, I'll crash these into a tree or a pole and i'll let you know how they held up and that's it guys so i'm gonna leave you guys with the flight footage and i really hope it helps someone out there if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and um if you guys want to help support the channel you know you could use my affiliates links or you can be one of my awesome patreon supporters um any help goes a really long way on the channel and i can bring in more components such as the hglrc uh titan that's like a hundred dollars right now so yeah and that's it guys so i uh, will see you next time see you guys take care